First, let me start the video off by saying, in no way is am I sponsored by Seal Skin Covers. I can barely pronounce it properly. Um, I mean, come on, guys. My YouTube channel's got 200 plus subscribers. I'm not making money at this. I have a real job that I enjoy greatly. Um, this is just a hobby. But hey, you know, subscribe to the channel if you want to. I try and put something out a mo every month or so. Uh, like the video. If you don't like the video, click that thumbs down twice. This is our 2005 Monterey 302. Uh, it's November 8th. The season is long over. It is a beautiful day though. It's 16 degrees Celsius here this afternoon. Two years ago it was snowing. So for the last few years I've had indoor storage for the boat. Uh, this is the first year we're at the new house. I have a backyard that actually can handle the boat on the trailer. The issue is I didn't have a cover for it. When we kept it indoors, it didn't need a cover. I had a tonneau cover, left the canvas camper top up. It was indoors, didn't have to worry about it. I was a little surprised the cover showed up in a box this size. I mean, the boat is 34 feet overall length, if you want to count stem to stern. Turns out the cover was vacuum packed. I've opened it up since a little bit, let some of the air into it. Uh, along with it came a piece of patch material that stick on. Looks like there's a fair amount there. Uh, a gaggle of tie down straps to be able to tie it down. Comes with these plates to create a stand to hold the cover up in certain areas. It came with one plate. I picked up a second one. Uh, they were like 25 bucks or something like that. Uh, the cover cost me, it was on sale, cost me just over $400 Canadian plus 25 bucks to ship it up here. I had it in like seven days, which I could not believe it came that quick. The only thing I am worried about is the fender racks. I'm not 100% sure if we're going to have to put the fenders in. I pulled the canvas and everything off only because this winter we're going to send the canvas out and get it redone. Uh, normally I leave the canvas on and based on the way the uh, racks for the canvas fold up around the radar arch, I don't think it would be an interference issue with the cover. Supposedly the cover's got an opening on it to keep push your flagpole and everything out through. The flagpole on this boat's the VHF antenna. I folded it down. We do have a spotlight and a TV antenna up there, so we'll see how it works on that. Uh, the covers it says polyester. Um, I don't know what the numbers mean. It's they list it as a 1200D. I assume that's some sort of thread count or something. Uh, the other one I was looking at that was a universal fit was only a 600D and it was a hundred bucks more, so I'm kind of thinking that this should be a better cover. It's got nice mountaineering type plastic clips sewn in with some nice back support. It's got a line sewn in all the way around, tighten it down. Uh, thankfully it does actually have a front and back marked on it or bow and stern. Okay, so the first thing we've come up with, we're gonna have to uh, leave the fenders in the racks over the winter. I wanted to take them out, clean them up. Or the, I guess the other option is take the racks off. The racks got a bit of a sharper edge to them here. I'm worried it's gonna cut the canvas for the cover. The other thing is I think we're gonna have to drop the anchor. I'll stretch the cover a little more, see how it fits, but I'm thinking I've dropped the cover and maybe wrap that in foam, or, or sorry, drop the anchor. And maybe wrap this in foam a little bit to protect it. We can just swing the anchor down here on the trailer somewhere out of the way for the winter. So that's one of the two cover supports I bought, or it came with one I bought an extra. I put it right next to the spotlight, just take the pressure off the spotlight. But I probably should have bought a couple more of these things. The idea is there to hold it up and help shed the snow off the boat. I'm not sure how well this one's gonna sit. I may have to make something out of wood or something instead. Um, be nice if there was some velcro or something on it you could stick to the cover to hold it from doing this plastic just got slot in it slots in it almost like you can tie it down with something it's my other complaint I hate to be a whiner but there are no instructions with this cover I mean it's just a boat cover right how hard can it be to put on well you'd be surprised at least it had a front and back marked on it so so it's about 4.30, been at this a couple hours. Uh, used to people, it was a lot of work with one person trying to climb around on this. 
It actually went together pretty well overall. I'm not sure the extra clips. I'm kind of a little lost there. I'm wondering if, because the uh, strapping is so long, if it's not a, a zigzag underneath in the bottom. I'll spend a little more time tomorrow setting that up a little better. I ended up having to remove the anchor uh, for the anchor roller and the mount. I used the uh, piece of sticky patch material as a, a buffer. Hopefully it doesn't rip over the year. Uh, the fender racks, I don't know. Hopefully they're okay. Um, it's a little short. As you can see, it runs nice and smooth and all of a sudden it's got a, an up and it comes back down. I think that's the shortage from uh, the spotlight on top. I ended up putting that four by four post I had up underneath it. I cut it down just so it's just slightly taller than the spotlight. But I think that's still going to cause a bit of a problem. Um, it didn't. Maybe it's supposed to. I couldn't get it to come back around the corners of the swim platform all the way. So I've just put these straps on them down to the trailer tie down supports and back up. This side needs a little more snug. So it's been a couple days since we put the cover on. Uh, we're back on board the boat. And as you can see, a couple days of warm weather. Everything is stretched out a little bit. Our supports have actually fallen up in the bow, so we've got to climb up and reset those. We've also got a lot of slack at the back now, so I'm thinking maybe that'll stretch back over the uh, swim platform at this point. Let's give it a try, see what happens. We readjusted the front support. The idea with these supports, they're supposed to create a, a ridge peak all the way along, so the snow naturally sheds off the cover. Um, I think maybe just a line tied to the bow support straight up across top onto the radar arch might be the better trick. I moved the one up to the upper on top of the arch to get it off the spotlight, take a little tension off that. So we'll go side retention everything and see what happens now. So I've gone and opened up the zippers just right about the helm station on each side and that has allowed me to pull the cover back over the swim platform. I also found these two little straps that came with just hooks. I think that's where they belong. They hook right into the vents, air vents on the swim platform and then clip into the stern clips right here. Now we'll see if we can get that zipper to close. Okay, so the zipper's closed up with relative ease. Uh, this side was a little harder because it's in the shade over here on the uh, port side of the boat, which faces south right now. The sun's got, it's coming down nicely on that side, so it, uh, it had lots of flexibility to close up. We popped up a little bit here at the bow, but I think once we pull that strap down tight and pull those drawstrings in, it should tighten everything right back up. See this? This side came with this real nice hook and cam system. You just put on it and you can lock it up. Fortunately, the cover only came with one of those. Two would be really nice. I'll have to see if I can find one on eBay or Amazon or somewhere because this side is just a matter of, uh, you know, you can't tie knots, tie lots sort of deal. So it's been tied up. It's still got lots. It does look like it's a single line that runs around the whole boat. As you can see, we hung on the cover, or sorry, hung on the swim platform, no issues. I'd like to see another one of these clamps right here in the middle at the uh, ladder. Um, so initially, I saw these extra supports. I thought, and the extra long line they give you, I thought it was to almost do like a crisscross. I'm kind of thinking now, because these little mountaineering, little plastic cam locks, oh, I guess they're not cam locks, look, click locks, they don't actually hold up with a whole lot of lateral force. They'll pop loose really quick. So I took this extra, the extra line, ran it up through here where they've got a little piece of material sewn into the cover and ran it back down to that extra clip and hooked it on that almost so it creates like a secondary lock to hold the uh, clip up into place. It takes the lateral twist and pull out of the clip to keep it locked in, routes it up through the cover itself 
and you bring it down to this one just to keep it tight. It seems to work really well there. Uh, that one I routed the wrong way. I'll have to play with it a little more to figure it out. It almost looks like that strap needs to come forward a little bit on the boat. And these ones I've yet to do. All in all, I'm happy. Quick little cleanup. Bugs are out tonight, I don't know why. Like I said, two years ago we had snow on the ground. Today I'm getting chased by noceums. You know, those little things that get you. So that's my review of the seal skin cover. A um, couple words of note. If the guys from seal skin ever watch this, uh, some spare plastic clips in the kit would be handy. I uh, broke one back here by mistake, trying to put too much tension on the rear. Um, and a second one of these tensioners would be awesome. I guess I should put something behind that so it doesn't ruin my oxidized doll finish. That'll get all cleaned up in the spring. I'll sh post a picture maybe at the end of the video showing how it looked uh, in the spring of 2021 when I started. So it's been about a week since I put the cover on. Uh, so far, very, very happy. Had to come out and make a couple adjustments here in a bit of a windstorm earlier in the week. Uh, we had winds in 70, 80 kilometers an hour. Uh, the cover had loosened up from the warm weather and uh, created a couple pockets up front. You just kind of see a little bit of snow from last night hanging in one of those little pockets. It had knocked the two supports down. So I went ahead and I got a chunk of line and tied it from the bow rail up and over the uh, radar arch. Found a couple other lines to tie that uh, support down in the center, which has created a somewhat of a peak down the middle. Uh, there are still a couple low spots. Um, already had the broom handle out underneath, raised it up and popped, uh, popped that up again. So still a little bit of snow hanging up there. All in all, very, very happy with the cover. The few little issues I am having, those are strictly my own. It's not uh, representative of the quality of the cover. Uh, when the cover's on properly, as you can see, like I managed to get it on the stern and down off the radar arch, it's shedding. 90% of the snow, the monsoon rain we had earlier in the week, water ran right off that. I did have a couple of the spots where it pooled up top and I had to get back in and push the water out, restretch the canvas down or the cover back into place. I think my biggest hold up is my fender racks. I think they're creating a, uh, a bit of a flat surface across the bow, which no matter what I do, I think I'm going to end up having a couple little flat spots in there. I'm not really happy with the way those racks work. I'm going to take them off the spring and cut them down a little bit anyways. So hopefully next year that'll solve it. Like I said, all in all, phenomenal cover. Extremely happy with it. Extremely happy with the price. Uh, overall, to get it here, shipping, exchange to Canadian dollars, uh, Canada Customs brokerage fees, it still ended up being about $100 cheaper than what it would have cost to have somebody come to my house and do a mobile shrink wrap on it. Uh, the cover's guaranteed for 10 years, so I'll get lots of use out so of it. So that's my review of the seal skin boat cover. Like I said, excellent cover. Very, very happy with it. If you're looking for a, more of a long-term cover solution for your boat, you can use year after year. That doesn't take up a whole lot of space to pack it away. I strongly recommend you check them out. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time.